Okay, welcome back. We're in Gibraltar today. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, brakes are off. Maps set. That's really fine. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Take a look at Jib today. With the benefit of those of you who've never been to Gibraltar, I will show it you from the air. So you get a better idea of the whole thing. This is the runway, obviously. Zero nine. Everything to my left, pretty much, is Spain. Okay, I'll fly along the border. And then the rock of Gibraltar itself is on our right. Okay, this is the scenery pack for Gibraltar Airport. This is the new airport that they built there, there's the control tower, there's the airport terminal building and the border going up to the border. And there's a fence, okay, so... A brief history of the Rock of Gibraltar. The Rock of Gibraltar is in a strategic location and there's been 14 separate sieges here because it's a strategic location and it's changed hands about five times it's been Moorish twice it's been Spanish twice and it wasn't British until the uh, the British and the Dutch led by the Germans um, took it off Spain in 1704 this line here that you can see big straight line just next to that mast next to the car park and then it, there's a bend in it by the airport, runs right along the back of the airport and straight down to that mole where that's sticking out. That is pretty much the border. And yet, there is no official border between Gibraltar and Spain. Simply because they did cede the rock to the British they didn't cede any land in front of it. North is over towards those hills there. Malaga is down along the coast there. This is the Bay of Gibraltar. We'll turn now and have a look at the actual rock itself. A Spanish put that wall down there. That's a mole. That just means that the British can't build out into the sea any further than that. That is the line this mole follows the line of the Spanish border in a straight line it goes straight inland up to that bend but realistically everything north of the rock is Spain so the airport arguably was built in Spain because it was all neutral ground because they, they could fire rock cannonballs from the from the rock out at the Spanish and the Spanish built a line of fortifications more or less where the marina is there straight the way across the other side where the football stadium is and that was a, a line of a wall and everything in between was known as the neutral ground even today on Admiralty charts it's the neutral ground both sides agreed not to build anything there but as years went by fences have been erected and buildings have been erected as you can see so half of the what was declared the neutral ground which was clearly Spain uh, has been claimed by the British and that's an ongoing dispute which I'm not going to go into it's all politics isn't it so that football stadium that roundabout that's all in Spain Right below me is Gibraltar. Let's have a fly around the rock. There's lots of development going on, uh, which is not really clearly depicted in um, Orbex yet. A bit more work needs to be done to the scenery back, but there is a road that goes around the back of it. They're going to develop a whole new. Uh, complex out here more skyscrapers it's going to look like hong kong soon because there's just skyscrapers going up everywhere nice little beach here this is catalan bay and that's the um not the catalan hotel the caleta hotel which has actually been demolished 
and they're building a brand new one at the end of that beach there and the road does continue down to the Dudley Ward tunnel and it disappears into the rock itself these are the old water catchments here and the cable car station on the top there and this is Sandy Bay, they built those two arms out into the sea because the beach was literally about one metre wide so they put all artificial sand in their, in their holiday homes down there at both worlds here we've got the Royal Navy dug into the side of this hillside here this is all uh, ammunition magazines that sort of things it's a really formidable place you know from the olden days You've only got to fly around it or sail around it and you can see how difficult it would be to land an army on it. There's uh, army ranges and things, radar stations on the top there looking out across the strait. Got Africa in the distance there. This is Europa Point where there's a lighthouse, there's now a university down here as well. Big mosque which is not depicted on this uh, Orbex scenery package. There's a lot of married quarters here that are going to be uh, redeveloped, I think. Looking up the rock, it's got loads of big guns on the top there. It had about nine at one time. 9.2 inch coastal defence guns. They've got one in the Duxford Museum, Imperial War Museum, Duxford. The town is missing, as you can see from the scenery package, so we'll, we'll go and climb the rock. We'll go to the top here, the naval dockyard over there. There was quite a few batteries up here. There's only two big guns left, one, three. That one is the one that's gone to the uh, Duxford Museum, the one just coming underneath us now, the spur battery. We've got O'Hara's battery up the top here, and um, Lord Airy's battery, although well, they're not depicted on this. And then we've got the breakneck battery, we've got the VOR for the airport on top of here, spy glasses, all kinds of equipment up here for spying and listening and all that nonsense. There's the cable car station just here. I think the cable car is depicted, yes it is, look, there it is. You can go up to the top of the rock on the cable car there. Look down at the town. The cable car is actually active, look, it's moving. You close it on windy days. And you can wander all over the rock pretty much, apart from at this end, which is the, the military radar station. And there's monkeys, it's the only place in, the, in, the, uh, in Europe where there are wild monkeys. We are facing north now pretty much, where's my compass here? North is a little bit more to the left. So the whole rock is north and south, and as you can see, the road into Gibraltar crosses the runway. That's because there was nowhere else to build a runway. The road's always been there, so we're going right over the top of the radar station now shop the power there let's have some flaps let's have full flaps shall we don't go too fast go and watch my airspeed do you want to pull the flaps off if we go too fast 1,500 feet, the rock of Gibraltar there. Four corners, that is the military uh, married courses, and we've got a Roski supermarket just there as well. And then this, it's all Spain after that. Okay, get rid of the flaps now. This is Marina Bay. On our left, Sunborn, floating hotel. All those concrete Piers have gone now, pier office that's all gone, it's all been replaced and developed with uh, houses on sticks. 
and then we've got the harbour there and Africa is just 14 miles to our south so there's a quick look at Gibraltar the town of La Linea of course is not really depicted on this at all well it's quite a big town lots of buildings and it's, it's pretty much all flat on this depiction ok prop is fully forward it's at one stage off two stages off airspeed is 60 that's good and we're coming into land this is the runway that General Sikorsky uh, crashed off the other end here as he took off his liberator from this end and plunged into the ocean at the far end it is a Royal Air Force base and there are no RAF aircraft based here at the moment it is what they call a forward operating station we are down wraps up so we'll taxi back to the uh, the RAF base the civilian aircraft park on the north side of the runway which is off to our left and the military to the right this runway was built during the Second World War for the invasion of North Africa which was known as Operation Torch which was a uh, British and American operation mainly uh, General Dwight Eisenhower was here, he was in command of that and he had his headquarters here at that time of the war and this place was, the whole place was just full of planes, mainly US Lockheed Lightnings, that sort of things, DC-3s you name it okay so we're gonna go over to the, that's the military side over there for the military planes park up it is on top of the Jewish graveyard so there is a weight limit on the on the hard on the hard standing because uh, they were not allowed to dig the graves up they had to build on top of them so we're going to go so that when the big military airplanes come in the big heavy ones like the C-17 they park on the civilian side because obviously they're too heavy they're going to go through the tarmac if they go on that side this is the uh, civilian airport. If you fly into Gibraltar, this is where you will arrive. And you'll, uh, you'll park at a gate just here. So let's do that. Let's park at a gate, shall we? In our Pisa del 104 Wilga. And when you disembark, you just go into that. That's the airport departures and arrivals right in front of you with the rock behind you. Okay, brakes on, switches off, thanks for watching.